So recently I have been asked a lot of questions how I grind orcs as a succession ranger because apparently it's not that normal to do but I'm gonna tell you how I do it and you can do that too if you want to. There is a few things you need to know about this place. There is a light mechanic where you kill some prisons that's going to release some lights and that light is reducing the DP of the orcs here. There is an elite that spawns here, a wizard that you would have to focus down as number two because he is going to remove that light whenever he gets the chance to it. And if you don't have the light, you would have uh, way less damage here. And that's going to reduce your grinding speed by a ton. I, I am going to focus down all of the lights first. And then I'm going to kill the elite. So technically, whenever I run down here, remember to always spam your Call of the Earth and spam your monster damage add on whatever ability you have it on. This is a good example. There's a prison. There is an elite. I use these two abilities to buff my damage and then I burst them down together. There goes the light, it's dead, and there goes the elite, it's dead. The small orcs, you can choose to, to burst them down right here, or you could choose to move on and get more lights out here. I usually go for the light because it makes it easier in the end. There is two lights over here, I AOE them down, I go straight in for the elite, and focus him down over anything else. I basically spam my tearing arrow here because it does a shit ton of damage to say the least, man. Keep on moving around if your DP is low. Never stand still for a second here. You should not use your racer wind if you're not about to die. It is only as defensive so don't don't use it i can use it here right but look how long time it takes to kill the orcs even with lights out it's not a good damage ability compared to a tearing arrow especially when you do the no charge version like i do right here i spam it don't focus down whenever there is like one or two orcs here left let them let, don't don't think about it leave them and they will come to you the spot is not that big Go to the next group. Don't focus two mobs. It's going to slow you down. There is this one prison right here. I go out and kill this prison. You see the light is coming out right here. Now I have a light here. So I do increase damage to these orcs. They are way more squishy now. Whenever I have done that, I can pull the mobs out here into the light. Use this light to make it way easier. Already start DPS the mobs when they are on the way to you. Abuse that range. You are a succession ranger. And then spam your thing arrow. When you get back in here, you see they are respawned again. Focus down the light once more. And when I kill two prisons here and I kill this elite, buff myself. And then burst down that elite. Because he's going to remove the light if I don't. Same over here. There's an elite. He's already half HP, so I'm just gonna burst him down. And I'm still gonna release these lights here because they are gonna increase the grind speed of yours down here. Again, prison, violent, burst them down. They can be AoE down because this, the prisons is super squishy. So do that. And then all these small orcs is basically just trash loot you need to not take damage from if you're too squishy at least you can extend this rotation in the two ends there is a group over here you can pull that into the light there's a group over here you can pull that into the light down here there is these few groups out here there's one here there's one here and there's one down there in the corner you can if you have even more damage you can use this prison right here to pull this group of mobs up here into the light too but the respawn rate is fairly quick you can see they are already starting to respawn in here if you get a weapon it's gonna change entirely you would not need to focus down the lights and kill the elite as much because your aoe abilities is gonna kill everything it doesn't really matter how you do it the elites are still gonna die the presence is still gonna die it it really doesn't matter when you get it though you can extend this rotation this is the same at every single rotation you're gonna have to extend it out because you're gonna clear it too fast you can kill all the mobs down here and when you do that you can run up here 
and you can kill the groups that is out here up here over here and remember don't do this if you don't have a, if you don't have a weapon because you can see there's no light source out here so the damage is gonna be straight out bad you can see my damage here i can barely kill them man only if i really want to sure i can kill them but you can clearly clearly see the difference on the damage is so big it's so big so don't do that only do it with a weapon then it's possible you can extend it over here and there is a bunch of orcs out here that you can you can go to there is another play out there so this is a bad example but there is a bunch of groups of orcs here that spawns or you can go up to this little castle up here as there is a bunch of orcs here too but remember the spawn rate is pretty quick here so don't go too far away as you see it's fully spawned in here already there is one thing that can be kind of tricky whenever i grind here i grind on remastered because these light source you, you can see them from here these light source is way easier to see if you grind on a lower graphic they can be kind of hard to see and personally i tried it and i actually struggled a bit more but whenever you start grinding here if you can grind with a higher graphic do it it's easier and if you can't well then you have to make what you can right when you start grinding here the first hour do as i did and come here to test out the orcs test it out see how it is don't expect a, a a good result don't look at the trash look you get come here only to try out the mechanics don't come here and expect to make 500 millions an hour here at the first time you get here it's not gonna happen when i first started grinding here and, and to now i got a bit more damage but my trash loot has increased very very much compared to my first time my first time here i made i don't know 230 millions an hour where now i make about 400 millions an hour it's it depends on how many weapons you get it depends how many bosses you get you can spawn a boss here if you do that remember to put on your acres up here as he's gonna give you far more trash loot like that and he has an increased drop rate on the weapons too so hopefully that's gonna help you out if there's anything that you feel that i have missed here or if there's anything you're confused about let me know talk to me and i can uh, try and solve it for you you can do it here or you can do it on my twitch i am live every single day almost every single day uh so come by say hi and ask me the questions you might have